This is an old 125 year old home for the University of Toronto a sorority. Uh, they were trying to repair a leak that was coming in. In approximately four different contractors to fix this leak. I don't think that any of them ever really came in with, with a real solution to the problem. Why the other contractors couldn't solve this problem. If we're going to put up a new deck, I highly recommend that we pull the roof off as well. Um, Mike, I just went into the bathroom downstairs and I think there's a problem. All right. Mike Holmes, did they actually do this right? No, no, they didn't. No fuckers. You want a good job at GPM Shape? I'll be a contractor. Unacceptable. Thank you, Mike. God, I love my job. <laughs> Well, we have 11 available spots for girls to live in the house, and um, they're all uh, members of AOPI, or to be member members of AOPI. Um, it's just on the outskirts of U of T campus, so it takes me about 10 minutes to walk to my farthest class. This is an old 125-year-old home, really. I guess uh, it used to be uh, a rich couple and servants, and now they turned it into, for the University of Toronto, a sorority. Uh, girls live here. It takes a lot of uh, care to keep it up because it's so old. Sometimes we've had problems with repairs because you want original materials and you can't get them. AOPI. Alpha, say that again. Alpha, Omicron Pi. Beta. Beta top. They're just Greek letters, so every sorority is assigned a Greek. A set of Greek letters. Can we make a breakfast? Excellent. Seven or eight years ago, uh, they were trying to repair a leak that was coming in. Um, they'd had different, just little patch jobs done by different um, roofing companies. The, the water started coming in uh, through molding and just dripping down the wall just slightly. Um, at that point where it was, we assumed it was a different roof surface and had that roof surface repaired and replaced. I uh, hear you're the uh, tool girl around right here. Yeah, I'm the tool girl. <laughs> I guess you could call me that. <laughs> Two girls usually share in here, and unfortunately they didn't have a closet for a while. They haven't had a closet for a while, eh? The leak sort of moved into a different area, into the closet, into the room at that point and we, would, we then realized that the leak was a lot more extensive than what we first supposed. One girl woke up to like a dripping on her head basically, so it's, you know, it's just really frustrating. Things have gotten damaged and, you know, nobody wants to move into that room. Over the past four years, uh, they've brought in approximately four different contractors to fix this leak. Well, there's not too much damage here, which is good. It was actually started on the other wall. Oh, there was wallpaper on these walls, eh? Let's take a look at that closet where all the major damage is. I don't think that any of them ever really came in with, with a real solution to the problem. Um, it just seems to me that they've come in saying, well, look, um, you know, we can do a little patch job here and a patch job there just to get a few bucks. And they really aren't interested in whether there's, uh, you know, going to be a problem later on. Hello. Sorry to disturb you. That's okay. Good morning, Hi. Oh my. Oh, we definitely have a mess in there, don't we? Well, my guess, this is directly under the door. Yes. Uh, what, what we've got is possibly years of uh, soaking here. Eh? How long have you noticed the problem? Um, I've been here about six, seven years looking at the long? house and in the fraternity. And uh, yeah, so it's never been used and it's been that in that shape for that long. Well, we're going to take this down. We're going to put up some new stuff, and uh, we are going to fix this. It's a shame to see that, you know, uh, four of the contractors have come here and were unsuccessful in solving the problem. So this is the sagging deck. I don't like the rails too much. It's not very safe. This is good. It's a, it's a quick repair, eh? Do you have problems with parties? These okay. are the best behaved young ladies in the entire world. Yes, good, good. Angels. <laughs> See the Stop halos. <laughs> We've had a few patch jobs basically done. And no one's ever, strangely enough, touched the flashing now, here, which know, seems to be the weakest point. That's that's really funny because it's the first thing I see. Everything else looks great, and the first thing I see is the open cavities that we have. A lot of the time you'll see the rain come from the west, and we have open cavities here that are going right inside. This definitely has to be closed up. The door here, again, we're seeing open cavities. Open cavities in the corner. 
hole here. All of this has to be resealed because this is just no good. This will allow the water to come in. We got regulation for where that's good. Okay, there we go. They gave quite the space in between, so not only does the rain go through easily, it's the snow in the winter. A lot of the snow won't, won't easily melt off this. Uh, I don't think we have to be this far apart. Too easy to lose your keys or lose anything else down here. We're going to have to completely remove the deck. The deck was rotted. The roof is old. Since we're going to put up a new deck, I highly recommend that we pull the roof off as well and put down new membrane, get up a new east trough and make sure everything's watertight on that side. But we'll re-secure the rails. I don't like the way they are, uh, especially right here. We don't need a permit to do a floating deck to take this deck off and put up another one. So I don't like the way it's sloped down here. I think what we'll do is we'll just flare it out and then I'm gonna do a level, a level deck here with a step down and then again, as much as level as possible. We're gonna have a slight run down on the other side, but that won't be uh, so bad. You want a hot tub or anything like that? <laughs> exactly what we were we're just gonna, gonna say. Because <laughs> we can really do this up, you know. Like make it pimping? Pimping. <laughs> we could do that. That'd be cool. We could do that. This is an old, 125-year-old home for the University of Toronto sorority. Uh, they were trying to repair a leak that was coming in. We're going to have to completely remove the deck. I know also that we're going to have to remove the roof. We've got to cut off the fire escape route there, right off the, at the, near the stairs. We're going to beef up the rails. I do not like the way they've joined them with screws. These screws will rust out in no time. We're getting leakage in through here, through here. As you can tell, here's the upturn on the flashing where it upturns. Water will go directly in there, and we're getting tons of water in this door. Because when the door is closed and the water comes from the rain, it beats it against it. It'll come right down the uh, jam here and right into the holes here. Look at the holes. This all has to be sealed. Uh, this is a uh, for the University of Toronto a sorority. It is a beautiful house, and it's just you know 120, 125 years old. You want to keep the integrity of this house. The more water it gets in there, it's just going to ruin it. Well, they definitely secured it to the roof. And what they did was drilled nails right through the membrane. I mean, how smart can you be to nail the bottom pieces into the flat roof? That is just brilliant. Yeah, that was really good. They glued it to the rocks. That'll uh, hold it really well. We're going to pull all this up, and more than likely, we're going to see about six layers of uh, old membrane. It's still early. It's only 11, just after 11 now. So we'll clean this up. We'll go inside, and we'll start taking down the uh, plaster and prep to uh, finish that. Well, we're just going to scrape all this. We're going to use a little bit of lipstick and mascara. And lipstick and mascara is latex caulking. It's like peeling right off. It's so old. That is, Are those layers? How old are you that, that has got to be. Look like at the birds. Eight. That has got to be, my guess, 80, at least 80 years old. Oh, my oh. God. Look at the birds. Uh, I really don't want to drywall over this because the, the house is old, and you know we'll keep the integrity and just uh, pla replaster it. Rather than taking this down and doing some drywall, if we don't have to, it's not that I don't, uh, I'm lazy and I don't want to drywall it. It's because I would rather keep it natural. I'd rather plaster it, just to, to keep the old look in the house. It seems that it's just uh, pretty well melted off all the paint, you could say. And, uh, you know, the paint has been adhered to the old plaster. You can even see the white. Wherever I wipe my fingers, it'll be white. What we'll have to do is take off all the loose stuff. We'll have to use a, a really good adhesive primer. Now, we have to take the ceiling down, so we'll drywall over that. This is going to come out good. I'll get started. <laughs> you give me a hand, that would be great. I have a thing for a hammer. Put it in the you have a thing for a hammer? Yeah. I'll give you a hammer so you just feel I good. I want a bang. Here, we'll, we'll put this in your in your, 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 your right. handle. There you go. Now I'm part of the team, right? And I would like a Gotta cordless like drill at least nine volts. We're uh, removing all the three layers, existing three layers of uh, roofing that's already on there. A few layers of shingles up, and that way we tie it back in and make it new again. We will get this recovered and closed back in again, all in one day. We got some uh, wild guys here working like maniacs. We actually expected to find a lot of rotten wood, but it, it appears just on first glance. The wood actually looks good at this point. Oh, we 
got a little bit of rot here, which is going to show that at one time we actually had a leak here. This is just a small area. We'll cut this out and put in a piece of uh, plywood. Yeah, the rest of it looks really good. I'm, uh, I'm actually impressed that we don't have a lot of rot. It appears to be a two by 10, and they double it up for structural strength. And a little cot here. <laughs> These guys are top-notch pros. I love the way they set it up down here. They've even tarped two vehicles in the parking lot on the other side. They've created a barrier, so when they throw off their material, it stays within that barrier. That just shows professionalism. I'm, I'm highly impressed. It'll be easy just to uh, grab the lumber. We're gonna get rid of all the deck stuff, none of the plywood. Mr. Polly here is putting, applying the second coat of plaster over top. After this, we'll just do a quick skim coat over the whole top. You sand it, prime it, and paint it. I, um, remember, right. this, remember the bu bubble that was here? The lad was buckling in behind, so I just threw a few screws in this piece of lad here. Okay. It was it was free, right? Like, and that's what, yeah, that was what's pumbling it out, and that, they didn't do that originally. This will fit in. Screw that in, I can tape it, and we can plaster in that piece. In the old days, they put the lath on the wall, which is, the lath is just wood strips. After that, you got a professional plaster that comes in and plasters the whole surface to give a, a nice, true, acceptable edge. The ceiling's drywalled, and I will plaster the corners. Man, you guys don't mess around, do you? How many layers do you think are here? Great. We don't want to pull up the wood. The wood actually looks good at this point. We may find a surprise somewhere. The rafters are underneath the floorboards here. They'll run this way. That's why we got to join here. We know they run across here. Do you want some water? You're welcome. I'll just leave this here if you guys want. It's uh, hard to believe, but by the end of the day, they'll have this closed back up again. And that's impressive. Oh, this chimney is very old. It really needs to be rebuilt. This is in very rough shape. This is not safe. Look at this, completely deteriorated. All the mortar, completely deteriorated. I can take it off with my finger. We're gonna have to take all the brick down to an area where it's uh, safe and secured and strong and re-brick it back up again because we, we do want a fire stop here and that is bringing the brick up above roof level. This is something we should have caught ahead of time. There's no doubt about it. Um, but to be honest with you, it was covered up with flashing and that should have caught my eye. This is a bit of a bitch because we don't want to waste time here. We want to close this back in today. So we're just going to have to schedule around this. Well, we got a little bit of rot here. We're going to have to take all the brick down. What is the fiber that I see here? This is a separation board. It's a high density asphalt uh, saturated board. It's given us a clear, consistent surface to receive the membrane so that that is not affected by um, inconsistencies in the wood deck. It's saturated with asphalt and it will, uh, the membrane gets fully adhered to that. So, so in a way it's also a cushion as well, right? Yeah, you're right. Because we are applying these materials with a torch down system, so a flame is being used, so this product is fire rated, it's not going to uh, allow uh, any transfer of heat to get to the wood. Day three, the roofers finished uh, their job yesterday, which I'm highly impressed with. It's pressure treated for the deck. We always want to use pressure treated or cedar. Well, there was a lot of controversy on pressure treated being unsafe if it's burnt, and then it's poisonous. But other than that, it's not that bad. I'm in the wrong spot. 
fill that with caulking. Where? Right in here. Okay. Directly up here. Yep. Okay. Now this is going to be flash, but let's fill it with caulking anyway. Okay. So I want you to caulk across the bottom. I want to caulk in here, all across the lip there. Also caulk directly straight up where the hinges are. You see the gap there? Yep. I'll have to stay home this Friday night because I'm so going to be so dirty. It takes about a couple, three days for the polyurethane to wear off. Well, good morning. Hi, how are you? Pretty good yourself. Good. How's it going? I would say we're on schedule, other than that chimney. Oh, uh, yeah, the chimney problem. Yeah, right now we've uh, made it watertight, but it's just completely I see, yeah. right down, eh? I yeah. mean, it's no good. We cannot leave this. Oh, I can't wait to see the deck. From what Mike says, it should be uh, pretty spectacular. Big difference. Are you really going to? He is, too. <laughs> Crazy bugger. Well, we don't want to nail into the roof and create a, a definite leak problem. But by using the PL Premium, it will bond it to the roof. This stuff will bond anything to anything. Uh, 28 and a half, exactly. Well, we got a roof that actually is unlevel into the house. And the challenge is to create a fairly level deck. We cannot get a perfectly level deck, but damn close. We'll put in pieces from underneath here down to the bottom plate, which will support it all the way across. But we'll concentrate on now just doing the framing. I went into the bathroom downstairs and I think there's a problem. <laughs> um, the ceiling looks like it's falling down. So I don't know if that was planned or, but it, maybe from pounding, I'm not there's sure. There's pieces everywhere and it looks like it's just crumbling yeah, everywhere. Yeah. We have a little bit of a clean up. This is, not, <laughs> this is nothing serious. Does this happen You scared often? me for a minute. <laughs> well, under the circumstances, what they're working on the roof. Right. Anything loose here is just gonna make its way down. Is that because the house is old or is this common in everything? That's old. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no capping on here. You need, you need water to drip away from the chimney. You gotta have at least two inches away from the chimney. This, this is not two inches, so it's still going down. So anything close to the water is gonna damage. And uh, bricks are gonna start to spall. Over here, they cemented it. Cheap job. So when we're finished, like I said, we're gonna put a concrete cap for the water to drip away from the chimney. Brian, this looks great. Thank you, sir. We put in a temporary brace for the food? Yes, we did. I guess until it uh, dries, we don't want it to move, eh? Yeah, we'll then take, you can take it off. All right, we'll take that off later. Thank you very much, sir. No problem, sir. I love professionalism. Thank you. We are using uh, deck screws. Screws hold better. The nails in the gun are not our docks. In other words, they don't twist into the joist where a screw will. It's not a floating deck, it's a real deck. We actually started at the fire escape. That was the whole idea to bring it somewhat level, step it up, give it nice leveled area here, and again, step it, on, step it up on this point. That way it's not a sloping, heavy sloping deck the way it was. You got four contractors coming in in the past couple of years to solve this water problem, and a couple of them just plaster. They don't even think, oh, we gotta fix the leak first. They just plaster. Oh, they put a bench. Yeah, we gave you uh, we gave you an extra added bonus. Uh, we definitely wanted to give you a bench in between, 
and the rails was one of the most important things to me yeah, to make this extremely me. strong. I think a lot of contractors would have just replaced the deck, and uh, that's not really looking at the concern of keeping the integrity of the house. Oh, it's I so exciting. Yeah. Our barbecues and it matches our bench. Well, we took care of uh, quite a few things. Not only did we replace the membrane roofing and uh, the bottom layer shingles on the peak roof, the new deck, and when a big surprise that the chimney was no good, so they got a new chimney as well. Uh, Let's go sit down beside oh, Paula, check it out. Yes, we did. Yeah, that's, oh. what, <laughs> that's what I that's so cute. Oh. 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 The leaks was from the door and window. It's open cavities, open holes, rain driving from the west. You're going to get water inside, there's not a doubt about it. And it was right there in front of your eyes. It's funny to see four contractors come in and not see it. Just to welcome you oh to my. AOPI officially. Oh hey, one my. One of the sisters. <laughs> one of the girls. Oh my. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, rec I'm reclining one. That'd be awesome. <laughs> I love the older homes. I really do. Uh, I think they're built 10 times better than the new homes today. And if I can do anything to keep the integrity of the house, I will do my best to do so. I don't want to be pulling walls down and drywalling over this. We want to try and keep the heritage here. Uh, this is old, 125 years old, that's old. That's old. <laughs> I'm pleased with it. I like it very much. As a matter of fact, and I do want to come back for this barbecue, so you better let me know. Coming back. Yes. So I love you. Make sure you hire the right people. You just can't pull in somebody that does decks and fences and are just not qualified enough. Thank, Thank you so for all of your hard work, and I have to give you a hug. Oh my. Thank you so much. Thank it's you. It's such a great job you've done. Oh, oh, everybody. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> all good. Thank you. It's all good. <laughs> I love my job. It get better than this. <laughs> Yes, buddy.